Hi, it's Ken Dine, and I'm here to answer some of your questions, the biggest burning questions about my new book, Them. So, a question I get a lot is, why is the book so different to other books in mentalism right now? Well, the truth is, for the past 13 or so years, I've been lucky enough to make a full-time living as a full-time performing mentalist. Inside of Ben, what I'm giving you is 41 plus routines from my real life working repertoire, okay? So these are not pipe dreams of things that just won't work. These are things that I literally have used to entertain at corporate events, I've entertained on cruise ships, I've entertained in theaters, just like this one, all over the world. And that's what you're getting from this book. The routines inside of Ben are from my real life work and repertoire, but they're not only for working professionals. Now, for anybody who wants to go out there and perform reliable, tried and tested material, whether you're doing an occasional gig or you want to just impress your friends, whatever your reason that you want to perform mentalism is, it's good to be able to know that when you walk out on stage to impress people, the methods, the routines are not going to let you down. And I don't mean the methods are going to let you down. No, they're not going to do that. But also, since I've worked them for real audiences, you're also going to find that I've also ironed out a lot of the performance craft and I've included that inside the book as well including jokes routining timing reasons and rationale and I've sort of pinpointed them throughout the book and a lot of people say that they've learned a lot from my little subtleties and stuff just as much as they have from the 41 effects that are inside of it people always ask me what is my favorite routine in them there's 41 of the blood and things so it's really tough to decide on just one one of my definite favorites and one that I know a lot of people have written to me to say that they really enjoy is one called predictogram or e1 and imagine this you have a whole bunch of audience members write down a random word that pops into their head you then collect those cards in and have somebody from the audience another random person come up and take a look at all the different cards the different papers they look at them all and verify that they're all different. They then choose one of the words that they can see, only for you to then show that it was predicted inside of a question mark envelope, just like the one you can see on the stage behind me, all along. But um, close-up wise, there's a really great close-up routine in there. It's called One Short Way to Play Fair. And basically, I think it's the most direct solution to card any number that, that, I've, that I've personally seen and I created it to kind of be that way. But also I think the subtleties involved in that are a really big lesson for any of us and I often look back at that routine and think how can I apply that thinking to the other stuff that I'm working on. So for close up it's probably one short way to play fair and for stage or stand up or cabaret it's got to be predictable. Summing up Ben in one word is pretty difficult. As you can imagine, I've put 13 years of my career into a book, so I would probably sum, uh, sum it up as uh, offensive or uh, controversial or maybe worked or workable, something like that, because I have written it in a hard-hitting, sort of edgy style that will hopefully keep you entertained. If you are interested in Ben, it's currently available from all great magic outlets throughout the world.